हॅलो एव्हरी वन आय एम रोहिणी हरिदास वर्किंग ॲज अन असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनिअरिंग डिपार्टमेंट ॲट मौलाना मुख्तार अहमद नदवी टेक्निकल कॅम्पस मालेगाव टुडे इन धिस व्हिडिओ वी आर गोईंग टू डिस्कस द प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ अल्टरनेटर अगेन्स्ट अनबॅलन्स लोडी द ऑब्जेक्टिव्ह ऑफ धिस व्हिडिओ इज टू डिस्कस द इफेक्ट्स ऑफ अनबॅलन्स लोडिंग to study the method of protection against the unbalanced loading in case of alternator and these are the some outcomes after watching this video the learner will able to explain the effects of unbalanced loading and describe the logic of protection against the unbalanced loading now let us see how unbalanced loading of stator causes the rotor to overheat let us assume that the generator is running in steady state condition now if there is an unbalanced loading of the generator then the stator current will have the negative sequence component this negative sequence component produces a rotating magnetic field which rotates at the synchronous speed but in the opposite direction to the direction of the rotor speed here negative sign is used to show the opposite direction but we know that rotor field winding is also rotating at the synchronous speed so here we have to consider the two speed the first one is rotor field speed that is plus ns and second one is stator armature mmf rotating at ns but in the opposite direction and therefore the relative speed between the rotor field and field due to the negative sequence current is twice ns here you can apply the basic concept of finding the relative speed we know that the relative speed is defined as speed of moving object with respect to another when two objects are moving in the same direction then relative speed is calculated as their difference when two objects are moving in the opposite direction then relative speed is computed by adding those speed now in this case both the fields are rotating at the synchronous speed but in the opposite direction and therefore relative speed between two is calculated by adding their speed and which is nothing but the twice ns this causes the double frequency current of the large amplitude to be induced in the rotor now we know that eddy current loss is proportional to the square of the frequency and hysteresis loss is proportional to the frequency or in other words we can say that both these losses depends upon the frequency and these losses will increase as due to the double frequency induced current in the rotor and which causes additional heat generation further it will cause the severe heating of the rotor and can cause the damage to the rotor hence it is necessary to provide the protection against the unbalanced loading now how long the generator can be allowed to run under the unbalanced loading depends upon the thermal western capacity of the machine which in turn depends upon the type of cooling system adopted now let us discuss the logic of protection against the unbalanced loading now we know that the rate of heat generation is proportional to i2 square r where i2 is the negative phase sequence current we also know that the heat energy is proportional to i2 square rt where t is the time now the capacity of a particular machine to safely dissipate the energy is limited to certain value and let it is a small k therefore we can write i2 square rt is equal to small k now assuming r to be a constant and capital k is equal to small k by r thus we will get 
I 2 square T is equal to capital K. This is known as thermal characteristics. In other words, the time T for which the offending current I can be allowed to flow should be less than or equal to capital K by I2 square. Thus, current time characteristics can be written as T is less than or equal to K by I2 square. Recall that this characteristics is similar to that of the inverse time over current relay. Thus, an inverse time over current relay which is fed with the negative sequence component of a stator current gives the protection against the unbalanced loading of the generator. The meaning is that we can use the inverse time over current relay to provide the protection against the unbalanced loading of the generator. The protection against the unbalanced loading is provided with the help of inverse time over current relay which is fed with the negative sequence component of the stator current. Now to extract the negative sequence component of the stator current we use the negative phase sequence filter. Under normal operating condition there is no negative phase sequence component present in the stator current and therefore the filter will not produce any output and thus the relay is inoperative. When unbalanced load occurs, the negative phase sequence filter circuit produces an output proportional to the negative phase sequence component. This is given to the relay coil and hence the relay operate to open the circuit breaker to isolate the generator. The same protection scheme is shown here. The negative phase sequence filter is connected to the secondaries of the CT and the same logic is implemented as discussed in the previous slide. These are the some references. Thank you.